All right, good day, everybody. Um, I am Omega Buster, and today we are going to quickly explore how to set up your console uh, via the use of an Elgato HD capture card to stream and or record on the OBS program without the need of using the software that you can get uh, for the Elgato HD capture. Just a heads up, the equipment that I'm using, I'll put down in the description below, but to reiterate, I'm using the Elgato HD 60S capture card, which is the standalone device. It's not connected to the computer or anything. Um, if you're welcome to look it up on Amazon, whatnot, I'll put some links in the description for you. But moving on. So essentially this is kind of the OBS setup. I know there's a lovely little portal of windows here, but try to ignore that. So obviously uh, what I have up here is a display capture device, as I can see here. Um, you can turn that off or on. So I just kind of have it off, obviously, uh, just to instead of ha so that people don't see what's on the desktop or whatever. Um, so essentially what is comprised of actually being able to use the Elgato on OBS is all you need to do is you need to set it as a video capture device. So it's quite simple to, to add these things. You just add, um, <clears throat> so hold on, I'll put, I'll put the um, display back on, sorry. So what you do is, oh, hopefully you guys can see it properly, is that you add, <clears throat> is that you add this, is that you add a video capture device, right? And essentially the game cap, the Elgato, there'll be two different things. And what you want is the Elgato Game Capture HD component. And then essentially what will happen is that you'll have this. So you'll have one of two. So your first video capture device you should always have, if you decide to use it, will definitely be the webcam. So the webcam will be one of your video capture devices. I just don't have it up because I have some other shit plugged in. So first up, uh, so then you have video capture device two, which I will unhide. And fantastically, uh, I actually I actually turned the console on. So this you can this will work for both PlayStation and or Switch. It won't make a difference. So this is um, essentially what you want to. This is essentially what you'll see when you activate uh, the capture device. Is that it should bring it up. Now it might take a bit of finicking, uh, finicking around to do it. Um, but I'll also show you a little bit of a bonus thing as to how to get. Uh, sound to come through your OBS if you don't have um, if you don't have speakers or sound coming through on your monitor and whatnot and a lot of monitors don't so essentially what you need to do is you need to go into it's mainly specifically related to your your video capture device so you need to go to properties so I'll just go back I'll get rid of this for a second so you need to go to to properties here so you can see here on the Elgato HD is that you've got your main screen so in order to get thing in order to get the audio to to output onto your desktop so that you can hear it while it's in obs is that you go to the audio output mode and you select audio desktop wave out direct sound works as well but i found it to be a bit choppy from my point of view and i mean either or you can play with it however you want but this is the best way to do it and if you have a, a different custom audio de uh, device attached you can use that as well uh, but this is the most simplistic way for me to do it. Um, a couple of times what will happen is that when you open OBS, um, pretty much what will happen is that nothing will come through. You'll get no signal or device wait. Uh, what you need to do is you right click the audio capture device that you have. So I'll show you once more is that you right click the audio capture device for the Elgato and then you hit deactivate and then you hit deactivate so as so and then reactivate and it should just do a soft reset of, of everything and it'll should all come back up as per normal and that may f may or may not fix the sound you may need to either for xbox sometimes i have to reset the console um for playstation i don't usually have any problems usually reactivating and deactivating as i come into obs generally fixes those faults um but yeah, so moving on from there, uh, this is how I set up for the OBS, my OBS setup for the console. Uh, this will work. This should work across PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Um, <clears throat> but if you have any questions, please put it in the comments section, and I'll try and address them as quickly as possible. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm a Mega Buster, and I will see you guys next time.